So, say you did think your stepmother wanted a bath with you because you took a bath with your mother when you were three years old or four years old. You're something you remember it. Or a shower. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of half asleep, half awake. Mm -hmm. You don't know what she's doing in there with you. If you done undressed her to help her go to the bathroom and she's just laying on the floor, what else would you think you want to do? Take a bath with you or something? Would that be too far-fetched? I don't think so. Why wouldn't it be? Because you remember doing it with your mom when you were about that age. You're not thinking sexually she is or he is, whoever it is, who's coming into your life. You don't know them from Adam either. From the, I didn't even know them my ex-wife that well. I don't know her family. I didn't even get the chance to meet them did I, Daphne. <laughs> that's all I mean. That's all I mean. <laughs> now, what would be the one reason, though, if you did do all that with her, or not, or not, you don't know, you're guessing, based on the dream, right? Based on, you know, certain details in your life, right? You're not saying you did it or not. They act like they know without knowing, right? Without no proof. That wouldn't prove anything either. Now, would it, technically, would it prove you actually undressed in front of the child? No, you just suggested you might go, right? What is the difference between proof, motherfucker, and, again, real pedophilia. The mind of the person doing it. That's the difference. See, your mind is pedophilic. That's all you think about is pedophiles. Why? Because you're a pedophile. You don't think of nothing else but pedophilia. Does it seem like I think of other things besides any other possibility? Yeah, yeah. I do, I uh, know. You think the only thing I could have been doing with her is what? Pedophilia. Pedophilia. Ah, but that's wrong. See, the eye is not the beholder. The beholder is in the mind of the person hearing the story. When it's a story. You understand a story versus reality? Based on my memories. Not reality. I know. What's the fucking difference, moron? You weren't there. Mm -hmm. If Daphne was there and she saw all that shit, she would do something about it that night. I told you. And, uh, you don't get it, do you, Dumbass? <sighs> you weren't there. If you were there, like any sane person, you would do something about it that night yourself. You could have. Now, if the only thing the child said... If I asked her who sure that, that was grandma, right? Even the ex-wife could say, well, okay, if I go to the police now, what would happen, right? Right? Nothing if I didn't touch her? Nothing if you didn't touch her. Right. And she would still say grandma sure to that to the police. But what would happen? Nothing. Nothing. See, if I undressed in front of her, was I hard or soft? And uh, I don't remember that detail. And, uh, I'm not saying I would be hard or soft if I wanted to take a shower with her versus sex with her. Mm -hmm. Two different responses from a person, too, right? Now, was I hard or soft, moron, if I undressed in front of her? I don't remember, so how the fuck do you know? Now, the only way my wife could see me naked would be a what? A damn mirror from her bedroom? You understand what I mean? Do you? You can't just see me if you're in the bedroom, right? You need a damn mirror or something where you can see people around corners where you can see me, but I can't see you. Because you're trying to catch me, if it is my ex-wife, doing something with the daughter anyway. But the difference between something sexual and something innocent is in the mind of the beholder, too. Right. Am I trying to take a bath with her, or am I hard as a rock? Right. You can tell the difference. I had sex with my wife. I'm sure she would know if I was hard or soft. But if she answers the question, she was watching me. You understand that, too, right? That's what a catch-22 is if she was the one entrapping me. Right. 
But if there's someone on base, he didn't see shit, and he can't do shit about it either, but he's in the gay Navy. What's the difference there? Ah. He would be outed. He would go to jail. He would get prison time if he committed sodomy with another sailor. You get the point? Who would be in more trouble that night, my ex-wife or him 20 days later? Him 20 days later. Do you know why? Sodomy is a crime to the UCMJ. That's the uniform code of military justice. You can't have anal sex either way. You understand what that means? I don't know. Now, I'm giving you the rules of the military. Do you homosexual people? I'm not downing you, right? But what I'm saying is in the military, you can't perform that sex act. You understand why you're in the military. It's against the code. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, if I'm on base 20 days later and I can't get off because my ID's in the goddamn bedroom, who do you think I'm going to call? No fucking body. I don't know. Right? But if I'm stuck on base too, there's only one place I can sleep if I get down from the roof somehow safely after seeing if the window was opened or closed, right? Which is the whole point of getting up there in the first place. Just to see if the window was open or closed. Right? Now, I think, maybe, I know, not sure, the second story floor might have been maybe one to two feet taller because they had a little bathroom area. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a common, it was a, a shower area, but on the second floor there's a little bathroom area. For the women. Mm -hmm. If you've been in the Navy barracks back in 94 or before that, you would know what I mean. It was originally the female barracks. Well, one of the barracks had, one of the shower places had a freaking bath in it. Right? Okay, a bathroom. I even masturbated in it once. <laughs> Thinking of all the women who masturbated themselves, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> but again <laughs> I also did it only one time too <laughs> can't be obsessed with something like that but I can imagine all the women who would go in there and while they're you know bathing and showering or whatever <laughs> yeah <I mean. laughs> but anyway anyway <laughs> right <laughs> And you can lock the door, too. And you can lock that door, too. <laughs> Hell, that's probably what I told him I could do if I had to sleep somewhere else and sleep in the damn bathroom. <laughs> lock the damn door or something. <laughs> I don't know. But see, if they're in the gay Navy and they're committing sodomy, that's a crime against the UCMJ right there. Their ass would go to what? Prison. Prison. You get brought up on charges for that shit. That's... Conduct unbecoming, right? A military person, right? Now, I'm not talking to people outside the military. You're fine. You do what you want to do with your bedroom. I don't judge you. But in the military, you can't do that shit <laughs> at all until you're out. Till you're out. <laughs> and like I told you about Ben, if someone asked you if you gay three times, what does that mean? They're out. They're out. <laughs> You tell them no three times, and you're stuck on the ship with them till you finish your EOS, which could be up to three years, ten months. I know. Or three years, two months, something like that. Mm -hmm. Right, you know what I mean, right? Because about ten months, you're doing your boot camp in A school, right? The rest of the time, you're on the ship <laughs> till you get out. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think, though, if they were doing all that with me, they would or wouldn't co red me either? Mm, I don't know. I have amnesia of that if they did. Now, mm -hmm. so the thing I remember about Sheena, right? right? I don't even remember the redhead's name. That's the problem, too, honey. But the only thing I might could have done to you is told you about the dream, about redhead, you know, and that it was kind of weird. Mm hmm. And that I was on top of her, mm -hmm. and I was trying to get her to let me go, and she wouldn't let me go. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's two ways to solve that. There's two positions we could do on the little boat thing that wouldn't fit the dream, right? Which, which is what? What is one woman on top? Woman on top, and the other is what? Doggy, doggy down. <laughs> now I don't know if I did that with a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Could I have done that with a girl? I don't know. I don't know. We're on the top of the boat, right? Out in the middle of the ocean. Okay, we go out so far, right? We go, and I'm kind of worried about her because she's, you know, redhead. She, she's got a fair skin, right? But again, no. We go back in. I don't know if we talked about this or not, right? Okay. But then me and Sheena start hitting it off, and she kind of hangs out with both of us a little bit. We start talking and, you know, all that. And then later on, she just goes back to the ship. She might have had duty the next day. Well, me and Sheena didn't. And, uh, see, that's all I remember happening, right? As I was taking the boat out, going, right, about so far out, so far out, so far out in the back end. And I was trying to get to know her a little bit. And then Sheena, and then it kind of more clicked with Sheena, right? So I was with her the next day, and then we went to the park thing, and then we... I guess had consensual sex. I don't know, right? Until, you know, something else happened, unless me and the redhead had sex too on the battle boat. I don't remember that, though, right? But here's the thing, right? <laughs> From the time we went out, right? Okay, to the time we went in, if I came quick in Sheena, right? And it was kind of less than a minute. I couldn't have had sex with her twice in a minute or longer, maybe five, ten minutes, right? While we were out on the boat. I don't know. I don't remember that, right? I do remember talking about a neutron bomb, that, right? <laughs> we'll see. What would that do to somebody? I don't know. <laughs> Technically, right? It would at least fry your memory temporarily if someone used it on you. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> so if me and the redhead did have sex, right? And we made it back to shore. If I please her, right? And she went on, um, you know, whatever. And got back to the ship with me and Sheena. We made out and... So she got back to the ship and she saw Sheena later, right? And told her, well, you better not have sex with him or something like that, right? Well, okay, right. She did it anyway. She did it anyway. So again, <laughs> see, I'm guessing all this, right? I have amnesia. Otherwise, I have amnesia. Otherwise, right? But I do remember being with Sheena the following day, but not her the day before, Right. Nor do I think anything more happened with Sheena than that night we just kind of made out mm -hmm. for a few hours and then went back to the ship and then whatever, right? And again, it's a light redhead, you know, versus a um, mixed African woman who said she was uh, Japanese or something. Uh, I don't know. Hey, well, she was talking about me, but like I said, right? And I'm not looking at the skin color. I'm looking at who was more receptive of me, right? But at the same time, right? Um, the other girl left us together, right? So, again, right? We kind of made out a little. Then we put up the second day, right? Then the third day, I come back to the ship, right? And see, what the redhead don't understand is Something wiped my mind of what happened with us on, uh, on the way back in, on the way back in, if we did have sex. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting plot twist, I huh? know. Uh, what would the neutron bomb do to someone who, you know, again, survived the car wreck before that, right? And then is it a three story fall, right? And all this injury comes out, right? And you see that 
bottom part of the puzzle so it's like the yin and yang symbol no. The yin, I think, one of them is dark, one of them is light, right? I think yang is supposed to be light and yin is supposed to be dark, right? Well, the dark is more like a teardrop on the side of your face than the traditional upside down yin and yang, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a fish right side up mm -hmm. on both sides, on both sides. But the thing is, I don't know, right. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. you see the yang, the yin clearly, right? But the yang, it would be superimposed, right? right? Because, again, the um, there's a little circle there, too, if you notice, right? Near it, but it's in a different location, right? You know, the White has the eye in it, right? And the yang is supposed to have the white in it, right? But the whole pelvis is white. <laughs> you know what I mean, too, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> so like I said, something weird's going on with the x-rays and all that, too. And yet this man knows what I'm saying is the real crime there. Sodomy in the Navy. Do you see what would be the real crime there? Not me giving my stepdaughter a shower or not, right? Not me helping her go to the bathroom or not, right? Okay. But him committing sodomy with another man, that would be the crime. You understand? He would get in trouble there. Him and his brothers. Right. <laughs> no, not me, not you. I never committed sodomy with him. I know. You know what I mean? If I did, that was during a what? Code red. Code red. Now, during a code red, they're trying to black your ass out permanently if they were to do that, right? You remember what happened in A Few Good Men? <laughs> right? <laughs> and again, I'm afraid to even take a shower around. On, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like in Shawshank. <laughs> like in Shawshank. <laughs> You know, the Shawshank Redemption with Tim Robinson and Morgan Freeman. Again, one of my favorite actors from Electric Company. But again, no. I'm not trying to mess with nobody here, right? But you can't mess with me without it affecting my whole family, even my ex wife's family, if nothing happened. And you're trying to project that shit onto us. And, uh, and Daphne knows what I mean. And, uh, Daphne knows which story really happened that night. Not me or you anymore. And uh, once she calls me the amnesia the night of the fall, I'm making it up. <laughs> she knows what I mean too. I told her that too. I'm making this shit up. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. No. Many times I'm trying to tell that. I'm trying to tell Daphne's daughter that too. Right. And the boyfriend. And the boyfriend. You know? But that's why I'm warning her about Stephen being the name of Mary Bell's, you know, fiance or whatever, right? <laughs> Something weird was going on between her and him too, right? That's what I mean. That's what you mean. <laughs> I don't know if he's involved with it or not, but like I said, right? Now, let me ask you this, though. If another guy tells you he's having sex with your fiance... And you're not able to tell him you are too, right? Right? You just don't know what to say to each other after that, do you? Right? And if you tell me you're having sex with her, I'll quit having sex with her. Right? right? But who can say anything if you're both having sex with her? You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. But that's what I'm warning her. I don't know. Whether I'm first or last, okay, if you take it for granted, as they she tries to get pregnant by Stephen, but is with me a week later, and the birth weight traces back to a week later, <laughs> not the week of Stephen, right? What did she think I'm warning her of? First she'll be last, last she'll be first. <laughs> And who wouldn't listen there? Stupid Barry Bell, stupid Barry Bell. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't want her either. She said, well, me, right? I don't even know why she involved me unless Steven's talking about me. Is that it, Mary Bell? Is that why you fucked me, too? That's a strange way to tell me you love me When your sorrow is all I can see If you just want to cry up somebody Don't cry to me No, don't cry to me Don't cry to me Girl Didn't I hear you cry this morning? Didn't you need a friend? I don't even remember his song. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know what the problem was with Mary Bell because someone's that didn't know it all and someone's not. <laughs> there too. And someone's hiding something there, and someone's not, right? And I didn't tell her we would have a boy first. I told her we would have a girl first, right? There again, I'm not opposed to having a boy either. I don't know, right? Because we and Daphne had a boy first, right? <laughs> but I was proposed having a girl first. Something. Maria, Maria. She made a lovely side story Going up to the guitar Play by Carlos Santana Something like that Something like that Now, like I said though Only one crime can fit the bill It ain't gonna be pedophilia 20 days later. Mm, But it could be sodomy in the Navy.